The history of this site is an uh, Aboriginal school that was here for the community, a pathway school to help our children that can't um, manage mainstream. I was told by some of the former students who are still connected with the school that this school really saved them. Uh, they'd been kicked out of a number of other schools. It wasn't till this they got to this school that they were able to really settle down and study. But then the government closed down the school in 2012. And so there, there was a huge um, campaign began in towards the end of 2010 when the school council found out that um, the government was planning to close the school. We were occupying there for several months, like from the start of the year to about September, and held off the work, fought bulldozers. Um, students were occupying with us, women and children. And then it seemed that people had won a temporary victory, or at least uh, made a compromise and won a reprieve sometime around September 2011 but it turned out that the government had basically duped um, the community or lied to the community and they basically came in, brought a, a principal in out of retirement on short-term contract and that principal proceeded to expel all the kids until there were none left. We do need this school and we, we know we're not going to get it back as a school but we want the site back and we want it back for a community hub and through there we want to run recreational, educational programs and health, legal, dentist and any other things that the community think they might need. And then in, um, at the end of 2012 when I got elected to the Moreland Council um, I invited um, people from the Ballot Maroop College to come to the first council meeting um, after I got elected to uh, raise questions and I put up a motion about the school, uh, about the um, council trying to get the school site back. This tree here, this is our sacred spirit tree. One of our elders that was connected to the school passed away at the bottom of this tree. And there are another series of motions passed in council meetings where it was unanimous from the council that they buy the site back for the Aboriginal community and for open space. These chairs were made by the kids from the school. They were varnished at one stage, but they're wearing off. And, you know, the feeling amongst the Aboriginal um, elders connected with the school is that if we can establish a community hub here, for the Aboriginal community and the broader community, um, then that will start to rebuild the Aboriginal community and bring the community together in this area. I heard they want to remove these from here, but these were made by kids and done up by the kids and it, it just means a lot to the ceremonial ground and the spirit tree to have these here. Now it seems that there are a few obstacles that have been put in our way so we're agitating for the new government, the new state Labor government, to uh, not sell this site off for housing and for greedy developers to make a quick buck, but to actually return it to the Aboriginal community um, and, you know, so that this can be a real community hub. We want to bring our elders back to our youth so they can yarn with our youth and teach our culture, but without the site, we can't do that.